Hello and welcome back. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, a little while ago, I put out a video where I predicted the upcoming uh, qualifying round series between the 12th seeded Chicago Blackhawks and the 5th seeded Edmonton Oilers using scientific methods. And there's been a little bit of backlash. Uh, people questioning how you could really predict a hockey series with scientific models such as the ones that I showed and they question the accuracy of them and quite frankly i'm confused because how could you possibly go against science i'm glad you brought that up because mr reynolds science is a liar sometimes oh boy so it seems like i'm gonna have to back up my scientific predictions with some facts and i mean that's not really a bad thing but we're gonna take the time to do it and we're doing it in this video. I'm going to predict the upcoming series based on just straight up franchise facts. This should be the end all be all. There should be no more questions after this. So without further ado, let's begin. Fact number one to determine game number one, Stanley Cups. The Edmonton Oilers have five Stanley Cups in franchise history. The last one coming in 1990. But unfortunately for them, the Chicago Blackhawks have six Stanley Cups to their name, most recent coming in 2015. So Blackhawks have the edge in this one, not only in total Stanley Cups, but most recent as well. So they take game number one. Now, moving on to game number two, fact number two, best franchise player. The Blackhawks have a player by the name of Stan Mikita representing them here. You know, the guy who invented the curved stick, number retired, hockey hall of famer, statue outside the arena. 99% of the time, I would put my money on him, but that 1% is this time because the Edmonton Oilers have a uh, little known player named uh, Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, he was all right, I guess. The Edmonton Oilers strike back in game number two, even up this series, and we head to game three, fact number three, which is the arena. The Edmonton Oilers have a beautiful arena in Rogers Place, a great upgrade to their previous arena. I mean, it finally has the cameras on the correct side of the ice. It's about time. It was built just a few years ago, still has that fresh new car smell, sits right downtown Edmonton, and sits just over 18,000 fans on game day. Meanwhile, the Chicago Blackhawks have the United Center, which was built uh, a little bit longer ago, but I'm gonna consider that not very old because number one, it's younger than me and I need this for my self-esteem, but also number two, 25 years for an arena that, you know, is built using public funds. Uh, that's not really that long a time. And considering the amount of money that's gone into it in terms of upgrades and renovations over the years, it has kept up with the modern times quite well. It is still a beautiful arena and still has a long lifespan ahead of it. And so because of that, game three goes to overtime. Probably didn't see that coming, did you? Now, after some bonus hockey, we finally get a winner and the United Center with its size advantage and its national anthem and Chelsea Dagger atmosphere as well. It takes this one. Blackhawks take game three, lead the series two to one, put the Edmonton Oilers on the brink of elimination. We go to game number four, fact number four, and that is outdoor games. Now the Edmonton Oilers and the Chicago Blackhawks each have one outdoor game victory. So we have another game going into overtime here. And while the Oilers have only played two outdoor games and the Blackhawks have played six outdoor games, that means that the Oilers have lost one outdoor game while the Blackhawks have lost five outdoor games, which means the Oilers take game four, even up this series at two games apiece, and we head to a decisive game number five for all of the marbles. And the fact to bring this series home is jerseys. Now the Edmonton Oilers current orange jerseys are certainly not as good as their former blue jerseys. But even though their former blue jerseys were good, they weren't original six Blackhawks jerseys good. And so the Chicago Blackhawks win game five convincingly and win this series three games to two, upsetting the fifth seeded Oilers and moving on 
to the round of 16. What an upset. I mean, who could have predicted this? Well, I mean, I did earlier with science. But now the facts here back it up. And before you start complaining, I want to ask you this. With all the questions regarding this upcoming tournament and this whole pandemic that we're in, is there really a valid way to predict what's going to happen or a way that's more valid than another? I would argue there isn't. So just think of that. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that as always. But most importantly, stay safe, make good decisions, and I'll see you next time.